Okay. Hi, my name is John and my partner is Mohammed and Cody and today we'll be presenting to you Health Access Plus. So of you, most of you all have visited a critical access hospital and most of you are wondering what a critical access hospital is. Critical access hospital is located 35 miles from a big hospital, usually 25 beds or less, and also offer a 24-7 emergency care center. So there are many critical access hospitals located in the state of Indiana. All right, so this is Susan, and she is our client for this project. She recently visited a uh, critical access hospital, and she is a little upset. Um, so we wanted to fix it. So we went and spoke to Linda White, who is the CEO of Deaconess Hospital here in Evansville. Um, and we spoke to her about what are the biggest problems and pains that guests or customers experience. And they, she said, long wait times and the cost of access to high quality medical care is on the rise. Um, so we have a little chart here, and it kind of shows the flow of the guests once they arrive at the ER. So they arrive at the ER, um, this is just in Indiana, but they get to the ER, um, it takes about 20 minutes to be seen by the doctor. Then um, they get seen by the doctor, and they, everything gets processed. And it's about two and a half hours before they get sent home. And Indiana actually has some of the lowest wait times uh, for states like Delaware and uh, Maryland. It's double. Um, so we have some of our solutions. Uh, we have an app that is going to display up-to-date wait times for the hospital. Um, it will send notifications regarding if the doctor is running late, and it will have doctor to patient chat lines. So um, let's say if the doctor is running late, the patient can decide if they want to come later or if they want to come early and just wait. Um, and with the doctor to patient chat lines, it'll be a safe, secure um, chat line that will allow a patient to um, send a chat or a photo to the doctor, and the doctor can say, yes, you need to come see us, or you should probably go to a larger hospital, or you could actually just go to the pharmacy and get some cream for that rash you have. So for the opportunity size, we have two sources. The first source is primary source, which, is, which will be the physicians themselves and the hospitals. Well, most of these physicians are have like independent contract with the, the hospitals, so they will see this very usual uh, app for them. And there are like 18, 18 doctors in the hospital and 52 nurses in this hospital. And our secondary source will be the Wabash Hospital, General Hospital. And you may be you may be wondering like how many critical access hospitals are there. Well there are 1332 hospitals throughout the country. And what will make this product different from the other products that are out there, uh, it will improve the communication between the doctors and the patients, where it could build the comfortability between them both, because they will have, as Cody said before, they will have direct communication between each other, texting and, and chatting about like different issues that the, that the patients have. Well, it could send the reminders for them about their regular checkups that they could have, like regularly, because they, they need to check, like, and every time. And finally, as Cody said, they, the, the app will have the feature where they will be able to send the pictures and communicate with the doctors directly with their phones, so they could receive, like, immediate feedback from the doctors and, like, just go from there. All right, our value proposition, I broke it down into two segments. It's the cost reduction and the convenience and usability. So under cost reduction, I found that the malpractice, medical malpractice claims are mostly claims from people feeling like they're being neglected. And majority of lawsuits are for hospitals, and it's mostly from wait times, for people having to wait forever for the doctor to come, and they feel neglected. So. With that, we will reduce the cost of medical malpractice claims. We will also reduce the cost of, we can reduce customers complaining um, with the application. Also, the convenience and usability, we will make it more convenient and usable for people within the age, from the age limit of 18 to 65. So, that will help them out a whole lot and it will also help out the previous generations. And we'll also offer reminders with scheduled doctor visits and 
doctor wait times. They will have updates on that. So as Cody and Mohammed said, they know when to um, come to the hospital. Key activities, are my, our MVP would be the prototype, the user interface, the web platform. We're advertised through emails, um, connecting with critical access hospitals, the physicians, and website consolidation. We'll also put together a prototype sign-up list so that we can get this application out for physicians to actually use. We'll also develop a pitch deck and consolidate a doctor's feedback to um, help improve our application. Key resources are financial capital, which will be critical access hospitals. We'll also look into some investors, maybe Wabash General and somewhere in there to help us create this application. And then human capital will be the doctors. We'll use them for testing. We'll have marketing, sales, legal advisors, and then a software developer. Our key metrics. So for the key metrics, we like thought about the, the number of downloads that we're trying to get from people that are like dealing with the hospitals. So by doing the research for the Wabash uh, General Hospital, we found out that the average number of the patients there uh, is 1,000, 1,000 like patients. So we have two expectations. The first expectation, acceptation, will be for the short term, which we expect to maybe 300 downloads. And uh, for the long run, uh, expectation will be maybe from 7, 000, 700 to 800, like in this range. Customer relationship, we want to get our customers. We want to reach out to physicians and also to visit, visit critical access hospitals. And we plan to keep them by taking their feedback into consideration to help improve our app and also high, offering high quality service. And, and then we would help our application grow by increasing involving the involvement of critical access hospitals amongst each other. Customer channels, we would uh, Go with, work with a web software powered by HIPAA compliant cloud, and they would um, help us keep everything protected. And then our customer segment would be the critical access hospitals in the private sectors of the physicians and physicians that's working within them. So now, as you can see, Susan is now happy after using the application of course. where she knows now where she can. <laughs> talk to uh, she see actually when her doctor would be there she would make connection with the uh, doctor and also build that customer service skills that she the customer service experience that she should receive thank you thank you all right <laughs>